Hey everybody, happy Friday. I hope you've had a great week. We've made it to another Friday. Just chugging along through the, through the summer. I can't believe it. We're almost to the middle of August. Well, today, even though it's the middle of August, we're going to be playing with brand new products from the Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog, the 2020. The official name is the 20, let's see, December, no, I can never say it. It's too long. August 2020 to December 2020 holiday mini catalog. I'm calling it the holiday catalog. <laughs> it's way easier. So today we're going to just play with a bunch of new products from this catalog. Hey everybody, Patricia, Lisa, it's good to see you guys. Um, usually for Facebook Friday, I pick one product like um, a stamp set or a, a bundle and we make three projects with that. But because we're celebrating the new catalog, we're going to just use a lot of different things. Okay. Hey, Susan. Good to see you guys. I'm glad you've joined. All right, let's see if I can find me. Yep, make sure I'm in the right place. You know, it's so weird because when I open it, it's all like glitchy. I hope it's not glitchy on your end. Something about my internet. It did this this last week too. Let's try it again. Anyhow, I'm going to run through a couple of... Um, little announcements for you. What does this say? Needs your permission to draw over apps in order to enable this feature. Okay. Who knows? I don't know what that means. Um, you guys, I'm still live, right? You guys can still see me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There. Whew. All right. We're good. We are good. Hello. Gosh, from Oregon, all over the place. Good guys. I'm glad you're here. Um, okay. Where should I start? Hopefully you guys joined me on Tuesday. We did a little bit of a kickoff, kind of walked through the catalog. Hey Terry, it's good to see you. Um, so if you didn't get to see that, make sure you go back. Was it Tuesday? Yeah, it was Tuesday. Um, it's on my blog, my YouTube channel, as well as here on Facebook. So you can find it. Um, uh, we um, went through the catalog. We made the little coffee, mini coffee holder, and um, it's a fun video. Now I mentioned, during that video that I have some product shares that are only going to be open for two weeks. Um, this is the ribbon share. It's got all the new holiday catalog ribbons. All right. And then I've got a paper share, two, two options with a paper share. And a share, if you don't know, is a way to get a little bit of all the new paper or a little bit of all the new ribbon. Um, if you were to buy every single pack of new paper in the holiday catalog, it would cost hundreds of dollars, it would be a lot. Um, and most of us can't do that. So when you buy a share, you're getting either half or a quarter of a sheet of every single sheet in all the new paper. So it's a little, it's a good way to get a little bit of all of it. And then you can figure out which ones you really like the best, um, which ones you've used the most and order those. Um, so you have the whole pack, but I do two different sizes. I do six by 12. Um, a lot of you like the six by 12, either for scrapbooking or just to have twice as much. And it's all here. It's a lot of paper this time. I can't remember. What did I say? It's over a hundred pieces of paper, a lot. It includes the specialty paper. Um, and then your second option is, oh, and I have this mixed up in here. There are three, is this all of it? There are three packs of paper that are six by six only. So if you get the six by 12, for those samples, those uh, shares of the six by six, you're still only gonna get a six by six piece. Hopefully that, that makes sense. I can't turn a six by six paper pack into a six by 12, <laughs> but you'll still get a full sheet. And then the six by six looks like this. I cut them all down to six by six and you get just a little bit of everything, which is really fun. Now, I don't think I mentioned, maybe I did on, um, let me pull it out. I just put it in here, didn't I? Where did I put it? On Tuesday, goodness, what did I do with it? Right here. If you buy both the ribbon and the paper share, I'm gonna give you a pack of these for free. These are the all the trimmings, embellishments. They're worth $8. So it's a gift um, from me if you buy one of the paper packs and one of the ribbon shares. One of the paper shares and one of the ribbon shares, okay? So that's that. If you want that link, I can't list that on social media. Um, I have, I can only send it through email. So you'll have to just email me and say, please send me the registration link um, and I will send it to you. All right, let's see, I'm gonna make some room here. I'm not gonna pile things up. Last time I had a huge mess. 
um, my class to go this month. We still have ways to go for the deadline on this, August 24th. It's the Pampered Pets class to go. Um, it's very cute. I love this, this whole suite of products. Um, there's a little uh, fire hydrant, candy dispenser. There's several cards, another treat box, and you get paper, ribbon, and six projects as well as a PDF and you can get it with or without the bundle. The deadline for that is August 24th. So we have a while, but if you want that same thing, I can't list that registration link online per Stampin' Up! rules. So you'll have to email me and ask me for that link. Um, also those links always go out. If you're on my email newsletter, I always include those links in my email newsletter. Um, that way you don't have to email me and ask me for it. It just automatically gets delivered to your mailbox. Oh, um, okay, well, no, I'll, I'll hold that for a minute. This month's Club Create is the prized peony. So if you are not part of Club Create and you would like to be a part of Club Create, you can find the details on today over at pinkbuckaroo.com is a post showing everything I'm getting ready to show you. Under the last photo, there's a PDF that you can click, open, it's free, download, save, print, whatever you want. But the details for all these things I'm telling you are right here. So Club Create, there's a link here that you can click on and it will take you over and, and tell you all the information about Club Create. It's a monthly club. Um, you can... Um, Quit anytime you want, so you don't have to worry about getting locked in. But if you stay for six months, you get a $25 product bonus at the end. So it's kind of like a host club. Um, and anyway, this month is the prized peony class. And you have to sign up by, ooh, I'm not going to tell you. You need to read the blog post because it's a new program. I don't remember off the top of my head. But it's coming up pretty quickly. I know that for sure. Okay, the other thing I need to tell you is that the new... All-Star Tutorial Bundle is out this month. August is the In Good Taste Suite. All of our All-Star Tutorials feature one suite of products, and then it's 12 tutorials using that suite. Um, I designed one project, and then 11 other demonstrators designed the other, so you're kind of getting um, different styles, different kinds of projects, really, uh, really fun, unique mix of designs. All of them are videos. They all have a link to a video. And um, oh, what I was gonna say is that we're doing all of our suites for this six months are gonna come from the annual catalog. So they're gonna just be kind of um, non-holiday specific, if that if that makes sense. But anyway, you get this for free if you spend $50 with me online. And I just sent those out for the last week. I sent those out a little while ago, a couple of hours ago. Um, if you are a demonstrator or you have a demonstrator and you don't want to order from me, this is in my PDF store also. It's $15. Uh, my project this month is a box, of course. I always do a 3D. See how cute it is? And um, we just did a blog hop yesterday. So you can hop back to yesterday's post at pinkbuckaroo.com and hop through and see 12 more projects. So all together, if you get the PDF, you have 24 ways to use your In Good Taste suite. All right, let's see what else. Um, how about prizes? Ooh, I have good prizes today. So last week, last Friday, Facebook Friday, I had two Basket of Bloom stamp sets. I said I would pick two people at random who shared the video. And those two winners are, and I saw Susan on here, Susan Little and Maria Gomez. So Susan, I know I have your mailing address unless it's changed. Let me know. And Maria, I don't think I have yours. So email me or message me your, your address so I can send that to you. And then Tuesday, Tuesday's Facebook Live, I have uh, two stamp sets to give away, Christine Zekers, and he's gonna be so happy, Mike Cruz, and I know he's probably working right now and he's not watching, but he always wants to win. And so I'm happy to tell you, Mike, you finally won a prize. So Mike, I have, I have both of your mailing addresses so I will get those out early next week. All right, let's see. Um, you guys, did you see what arrived? This is the brand new cut and emboss machine. I keep calling it the stamp and emboss machine, but it's a great machine, but it is not stamp. I don't know why I can't remember cut and emboss, but it is um, really cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it three times today during our Facebook Live, and I will tell you all about it. I love it. Um, 
I'll be honest with you, when we discontinued the Big Shot, I went out and bought another die cut machine that I had read about that was amazing, and it was really big, and I hated it. And I actually sold it, I got rid of it, I could not stand it. Um, it was heavy, it was clunky, it didn't roll very good, and it had great reviews online. It said it would cut through like eight layers of whatever, hated it. This one, I've, I got it yesterday, I've already used it a bunch. You'll see my clear plates are already messed up. They aren't clear anymore. And I'm very happy with it. It's light, but heavy enough that it's sturdy on the on your surface. Um, the, the little doors open like this, so you fold them in um, for that compact. You know, if you have space issues, you know, in your craft space where you don't have a lot of space, this is really good because it folds up. Um, your old dies, will work in this machine. If you have the, the um, oh, the Biggs dies that we used to have, you know, the, the the square big, you know, it was a big die, it was thick. They fit through there too. So I'm really happy with it. And I think um, you guys will be too. And I'm seeing it's already like dirty and scratched up. <laughs> it has already been broken in. I love it. So, okay, prizes for this week. I kind of jumped around. Look, I have three prizes for this week. Three host sets from the new holiday catalog um a merry hello the only way you can get this is if you spend over 150 dollars and then use your stamp and rewards on it so i have three of them that i will give away next friday to three people who share this on facebook all right now i get some questions about that about the shares um if you and i are friends on facebook i can see that you've shared it. No, that that's not, no, that is true. And if you share it to a public, okay, if you share it on your own personal page and we're Facebook friends, I can see that you shared it. If you share it to a public forum, I can see that you shared it. But if you share it to a private group or maybe through Messenger, I can't see that, so I can't count you in the, in the drawing. So, but wait, if you do that, just comment like everybody's doing right now, shared. That way I can see that you shared, okay? Um, I just pick people at random. Sometimes I just scroll through and stop and pick someone. Sometimes I use um, something, a generator to pick somebody. Sometimes I pick, I click on the shared numbers. So just let me know that you've shared, if you've shared it somewhere that I probably won't be able to see it. You know how Facebook is. They have all that stuff set up so that you can't always see other people's pages and what they're doing. Anyway. Okay, are you guys ready to stamp? So if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday, I make three projects. Um, these projects, this is kind of like a class, a, a class that is free with a purchase. Um, if you would like the projects to do, to do at home, they're free with a $35 order. Um, and how that works is I have a host code. It's on today's PDF. It's on today's blog post. And when I flip the camera around, you'll see I have it down here on the table too. So anytime between now and Monday at midnight, if you place an order over $35 and you use that host code, I'm gonna send you the make and takes for free. See, here's last week's. You will need the stamps, and the, if it's a bundle, the dies. Um, you will need your ink and adhesive, but you can see I will do some die cutting for you. Like, um, if it's a bundle, so this one. This is the, oh, Forever Fern. I didn't die cut those ferns, because you have to have the bundle to make the projects. You have to have the stamp and the dies. That's what I was featuring. So whatever I'm featuring, you need to have to create the projects. I hope that makes sense. Or sub whatever you have, really. I mean, if you don't have that, and I sent them to you for free, you can use whatever you want. And you can order whatever you want. It doesn't have to be what I'm showing. I, I don't care what you order, as long as it's over $35. If your order goes over $150, don't use that host code because you are gonna get Stampin' Rewards. That's free stuff from, from Stampin' Up, and I will still send them to you for free, okay? So they come like this. I don't do any pre-stamping. Don't you guys worry. I know sometimes you guys think I'm breaking the rules, but I don't. No pre-stamping, that's a thank you tag. You do your own stamping, okay? All right. Okay, so Monday at midnight, got that. Da, 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 da. Okay, I think we're ready. Nina, I just saw your message. I have hundreds of people share every week. So it, you know, I just randomly pick, but as long as you in the comments say shared, you're entered. 
Okay, I promise. Okay, let me turn you guys around. Um, and we're gonna get started. Now, I don't have anything fancy to do. You guys just close your eyes for a minute. <laughs> Good, Nina, I see that you've shared. Thank you. All right, so I've had a crazy week here. Um, not only was it the new catalog and the new customer page that kind of threw some of us for a loop, but I was prepping a huge event that my team were having, a team training um, next weekend. And uh, it, it was a quick turnaround, very quick, because we're using holiday catalog stuff, and I couldn't order from the holiday catalog until Tuesday. So I have had a very busy work week, but I'm happy to say that they are packed and ready to mail, because I don't wanna work this weekend. Oh, I was hoping I could get it all done. And it's done, I'm so excited. Okay, so make sure you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com. This is the PDF you can get. It's under the third photo. Um, it's gonna have everything that I'm using, as well as any measurements that you need. The host code is up here at the top of both pages. And everything that I talked about at the beginning is right here, okay? All right, there's not really very many measurements that you need this week because, um, I don't know, Just I think just the card, really. Everything else is pretty easy. Oh, you need a you need a score line measurement, so that's there. All right, so I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do first. Did I already pass it? I did. Okay, so of course, if you know me, you know I love treat boxes. They're my favorite thing to make. So back here in the back of, back of the new holiday catalog, um, page 70 is this new little treats box die and stamp set, the bundle. Let me get it. It's all the way over here, of course. And of course, I was like, number one on my list. I've got to have that. And I am happy to report that it is super easy to put together. And you'll see here, they they have two, three of them put together, but then they, they've used it several different ways. The stamp set especially um, is very useful um, beyond just the using it as it's intended. And then that this, stamp, this die set has some really cute things. Look at the ring. The little ring die, adorable. Spider, there's ornaments, a Santa hat, the scallop. It's a stitched scallop, a tag. It's a good set. So I'm really, really happy with it. And that's what we're gonna do. We're also going to use, I, I think I told you guys on Tuesday that I always miss the embossing folders. I, I, it's like I can't see them. Um, but this one right here, Magic is the night, is the Halloween suite. You know a class is coming. You know. September, it's coming. Um, cobwebs, the Cobwebs 3D embossing folder. That's what we're going to use. And that really cool metallic mesh ribbon, okay? All right, so let's get started. We're going to do the die cutting first. And while we have the brand new cut and emboss machine over here, we'll get, we'll do everything that we need to do. Um, there's only one stamp in this whole project. Happy Halloween, happy, happy Halloween. And stamped it in pumpkin pie. I'm gonna cut out the scallop, stitched scallop circle in pumpkin pie. And then this is the smallest um, circle die. So that's gonna go there. And then the spooky spider, he needs to be cut out of black glimmer, of course, a sparkly spider, of course right? Um, now, if you cut him out of cardstock, he's embossed and he'll have detail on it. But because we're doing the glimmer paper, he'll just be an outline. All right. Now, we're also going to emboss and I'll show you that. Now, Joy, I don't know if Joy's on here. She just asked about the sandwich for embossing. And Joy, I realize I told you wrong on the little where I typed it. So I'm going to show you in a minute. Your new cut and emboss machine will come with the plates that you need, okay? See how it opens? It's so like compact and nice little carry. You know, that big shot for demonstrators, for me, when I go set up at retreats and stuff, it's really hard to pack. It was very weird and awkward um, to try to pack that. This is just gonna be, this is gonna transport really easily um, if you go to retreats or whatever. Um, it comes with four plates. So you have the base plate, that's number one. You have number two, which is for your wafer dies. Now, 
you guys, it has the instructions right here, okay? So make sure you read the instructions. Um, it'll tell you the sandwich that you need. And right off the bat, we're just gonna do our basic dies that, that only need just a basic setup. So you're gonna have one and two together stacked up there. Then number three, these are your clear plates. And then smoky slate cardstock. Now, these little boxes, you can get two out of a full sheet of cardstock. It is exactly five and a half inches wide, okay? So cut your paper five and a half inches and you can get two. You can, these will be great for simple um, treats for any holiday, really. Halloween, Christmas, they have, they're showing, I think, a wedding favor, baby shower favor. It's very versatile. All right, so there it is. And you can see it does those embossed lines for you, cuts out everything you need. And now let's bring over the other dies, small circle. Joy, you're here. Okay, Joy, I responded to your question about the sandwich and I used the wrong number. And I'm gonna show you and just right after this, I'm gonna show you how the sandwich you need for embossing. Look, see, <laughs> my clear plates aren't clear anymore. Oh, I love when they come in there all brand new and crystal clear, but they don't stay that way for very long. All right. Whoa, flying spiders. All right, so we've got that, we've got that. Got that cute little scalloped circle and our little creepy spider and our sentiment. Now, I wanna emboss this, so to emboss, you're gonna take off number two and three, okay? And you're gonna put this flat on here with number four on top, and that's how you're gonna run it through. Now, to get this to fit in here, I had to play around with it a little bit. It will not fit like that if you did it like that. See how it's gonna hang over, it's gonna hang over. So if you turn it diagonally like this, you'll see that these little corners hang over. These corners, even though they're not gonna get embossed, you're not gonna see them because they're gonna be on the inside. And you could turn it even this way. This is probably even better. Let's do it this way because this little notch is gonna fold into that little slit right there. So you're definitely not gonna see that, okay? All right, so get it in here. Laura says, I'm ordering this set today. I love it. Of course, this catalog and the annual so close together. Kelly, me? I know, Laura. Me too, me too. So close together. All right, uh-oh, looks like we're sticking out a bit. Let me move that over. So just the number one and the number four. And right through. It feels very nice when it go, when it cranks. I know that's kind of sounds silly, but if you do a lot of die cutting, you know what I'm talking about. So see right there? Didn't, didn't emboss, but it's okay. You're not gonna see it. You're totally not going to see it. All right, let's move this guy out of the way. And let's assemble. Now, I found that this is the perfect um, size for two Ghirardelli's. Okay, so I have these. The black ones are perfect for Halloween, especially in August when you're making Halloween projects <laughs> and you don't have any Halloween candy. So now you're gonna fold these in to here. You can do them from the back or the front like that. Let's do these from the front. And no adhesive required. Put these in like that. And then you just fold this up. All right, easy peasy, right? You just slide it in, fold it up. So you can see if you needed to make 50 treats, this would be your go-to. This is gonna be easy. All right, now I'm gonna tie it together with this really fun mesh, silver mesh ribbon. A metallic mesh ribbon is what it's called. It looks like a spider web. I'm gonna tie these together. Like that. And let's trim that off so that they're even, all right? And now we're just gonna layer these up. Hello, everybody. Kathy, yes, we have. We have used it quite a bit, and it has been very nice, a nice escape. 
All right, now that goes there. And I'm gonna put a little mini dimensional on this spider and put him right, let's have his leg hanging over like that, right there, like he's climbing up. And that's it. Easy, so simple, right? So simple. There's all three, look, I have three. <laughs> I have three Halloween treats ready to go on, what is today? August 7th. I'm way ahead of the game. All right, what do you guys think? Fun, right? That bundle is $53. The stamp set has 15 stamps in it. That's quite a bit. It's red rubber. Um, make sure if you buy this, you use the bundle number. If you use the individual stamp number and the individual die number, um, you won't save 10%. Uh-oh, I forgot to flip over my little sign. Um, let me just show you what I'm talking about in case there's someone who doesn't know. When you buy it as a bundle, that means the stamps and the dies together, you save 10%, and that's the number right there, okay? If you entered that number for the dies and then that number for the stamp set, it's not gonna save you 10%. I can tell you that I have done that before accidentally. Ordered the stamp set when I meant to order the bundle. So pay attention when you're entering your numbers. It happens. All right, next. Let's see what we have next. Ooh, we're gonna move on now to more fall <laughs> fall project because why not let's see what is the temperature here right now 95 well we must be having a cool front because that's pretty cool in the, the weather forecast this week it was all over 100 every day but I'm, i can pretend right i can pretend it's fall all right so this this bundle immediately jumped out at me when i saw it in the catalog um it's called autumn goodness and it has, of course, my favorite pumpkins. It's got a wheelbarrow, that little hay, or I don't know, what is that, like a corn husk thing? You know, full. it looks like you would be at a pumpkin patch. And then, but look at the dyes. Look at the fence, so cute. And it embosses, it's got those ridges. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. We've got the wheel and the wheelbarrow. And then these cut out the three little images, okay? All right. So let's get started. First though, we're gonna do a little watercolor wash background. Hold on, I'm trying to get organized. We're gonna use this water painter again that we used last week. Um, and balmy blue. By the way, I did clean recordings this morning. Corn, corn shock, corn shook, corn, why can't, what, you know what? I don't forget my words like I do when I'm on Facebook Live. It's like I can't even think of the vocabulary. That's so funny. Um, <laughs> a corn stalk. That's what we're trying to say, right? Corn stalk. Um, I just say fall decorations. How about that? All right, <laughs> water painter. I'm gonna use the fat end right here. And I'm just gonna, before I do that, you know what though? Let's get some ink on the inside of our pad. This is Balmy Blue. And I just want to do um, a water wash, very light. And if you're like me and you don't, you don't ever know when to stop, just know that if you think you need more, it's time to stop. <laughs> All right, because you want it to just be light. And I'm gonna add some water here. Ooh, I think I might've done too much there. No, no, there, it's, it's washing out. Just super, super light in the back. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't like that. I think I'm going to make that the bottom. All right. Let's see. Okay. A little bit more. I should have stopped probably if I thought I needed a little bit more. Okay. There we go. Just a wash. Just a little wash. All right. Close up that. And let's do our stamping. Now I'm going to stamp this in Memento Black. Um, whenever you color with the Stampin' Blends, you want to use your Memento Black. How come I don't have any Whisper White paper here? Did I pick it up and I lost it already? Or, oh, it's hiding. It's hiding under my, my Stampin' Up, my Stampin' Blends. Okay. Now, I was having trouble again this morning on this table giving, and it wasn't, uh-oh, hold on, we've got water. We don't need water. Let me get a towel. Um, 
this table gives. You know, I need to pull my my piercing mat over here because this morning I was having trouble with the stamp, but let's see if we can do it without it. All right, Memento Black. And I'm gonna stamp off on just some scratch paper, okay? Because I want it to be light. All right, there, I did it. See if I know that it's gonna not stamp fully, I can focus and make sure I add lots of pressure. All right, let's look at the colors that I have chosen for our fall scene. I have pumpkin pie, Cajun craze, uh-oh, old olive, crumb cake, soft suede, mango melody, and real red, okay? Lots of colors on this. We're gonna start with these beautiful pumpkins, and I'm gonna do pumpkin pie light. You know what, let's see if I can zoom in. I hope I don't screw things up. Okay, there we go. Remind me to, to zoom back out. All right, so I'm gonna color this in with light. I'm gonna just do like a whole coating of pumpkin pie light. And I'm using the bullet tip end. That is my preference. I prefer to use that end. I know some people feel differently. But for me, I have better control when I use that. If I use the brush tip end, I get out of the lines much more frequently. Now, the artist that drew this put these lines here to help us know where we need to add some color. So I'm taking the dark and just kind of going over those lines. I'm gonna come back here in the back too with the dark. And then I'm gonna take the light and go back and blend it all together. All right, now let's do this one. Now, you guys, when I was looking at this, I couldn't quite tell exactly what this one was or what these are right here. I'm not sure that I'm using the right colors on them, but it doesn't matter, right? Does it really matter? No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. Use whatever colors you want. I mean, okay, maybe it's an upside down pumpkin. You guys see? I, it looks kind of like an apple too. Maybe it's an upside down apple, I'm not sure. It doesn't have a stem or anything, so it's kind of confusing. All right, now, Cajun Craze. I know some of my friends, this is not their favorite color, but I like it. Everybody needs a rusty orange in the fall for sure. And it's definitely a rusty reddish orange. So that color of fall leaves maybe. Now, whatever these little guys are up here, they're gonna be Cajun Craze. Are they supposed to be Cajun Craze? I don't know. All right, same thing that we did with that big pumpkin. Add some dark to those little lines at the bottom. Whoa, hello. Getting a little crazy. Got out of the lines. That's okay, that's gonna be tucked behind the, <laughs> that's gonna be tucked behind the uh, wagon. So we don't need to worry about it, or the wheelbarrow. All right, now, how about Mango Melody Light? Mango Melody Light. Mango Melody is one of my favorite colors because it's not quite yellow and it's not quite orange. It's kind of both. I'm gonna do light again, come back with my dark, and I'm gonna add dark where it would be behind that pumpkin, so some shadow, and then down here on this, squash with the lines again, and then just take your light and blend it all together. Okay, am I out of this, am I out? Am I over, I'm over too far. Ugh, I forgot that I zoomed out. All right, now for the leaves, let's do old olive. And I'm gonna do again with the light. Now some people like to start with their dark colors. Um, do the highlights or the, or the shadows first with their dark colors and then go back over with their light. Do some of you do that? There's no wrong or right. I just find that I like to do the opposite of that. Start with the light, go with the dark, and then back with the light. Now for the dark, I'm just gonna kind of go where the veins of the leaf are. 
dark. Um, Old Olive is pretty dark, so be careful. All right, and now... Now, while I'm coloring in the sand, I have to tell you guys that I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for next week. Next week's Facebook Friday. You know, to be honest, you guys, I'm moving to real red now for the apples. To be honest with you guys, I'm really not ready <laughs> to do holiday stuff. Are you guys ready to do holiday stuff? Do you want to, to already see holiday stuff? I don't know if I'm there yet. Even fall and Halloween, I, I'm not feeling like I'm quite ready. But if that's what you guys want to see, I have um, an idea what I really want to do next week. Now I'm going to go with a dark, exactly like we did with the pumpkins, adding just a little bit of dark. I can't remember what it's called, the stamp set that has the playing cards and the dice. I've got some ideas for that stamp set. So I think we might go back to the annual catalog next week and do that. Why do I have two dark crumb cakes? Well, that's not going to work. Well, we'll just have to make do. Um... I don't know. You guys tell me what you're thinking. Tell me how you're feeling. Halloween or back to school? Oh, Lisa, back to school. <laughs> you mean people are going back to school? What is this you're talking about, Lisa? Lisa works in a school, and she just said they're going back. Um, so that's definitely on her mind, I know for sure. Um, it's so funny, Lisa, because I always do back to school, and I didn't even think about it this year. You know what, I was gonna do this in soft suede, so I'm gonna stop. So crumb cake for that, and we'll do soft suede for the other one. Huh, I need to I need to reevaluate now. I forgot because back to school is creeping up. All right, so how many of you raise your hand if your kids are actually going back to school in person? You know I really can't see your hand, but we'll just pretend. <laughs> um the last thing I'm gonna do right here is this little leaf here on the apple with green. Ooh, that's too dark. I should have done the light. Oh, well. All right. Okay, so in my mind, like I for you know, usually this time of year, it's all about getting my kids ready for back to school. This year, I haven't thought about, my girls asked about a new backpack yesterday and I was like, a backpack? You need a backpack? Here, um, I'm, I'm inking this in soft suede and stamping it on crumb cake cardstock. Here in San Antonio right now, the official plan is for our kids to do distance learning until through Labor Day, which is just two weeks. My gut says they're going to be doing distance learning for much longer than that. I don't know, but that's pretty much what it feels like. Uh, I can't see. I'm sure you guys have been reading all the fun things on Facebook, people are saying, I can't see that they're gonna open the school, I don't know. Um, anyhow, uh, I'm gonna cut all of these out, but I also need to cut this out, hold on. Why can't I pick things up today? This this is the new brushed metal cardstock, yeah, brushed metallic cardstock in the holiday catalog. I'm gonna cut that um, wheel out. Man, I can see you guys saying so much over here. Woo! Y'all have a lot to say about this, I can see. Yeah, this is a hot topic right now, right? Renee, Renee, you're local, you're, you're close to me. Are you actually going back to school? Renee, you're an art teacher, right? What a fun job, Renee is an art teacher in a school, wow. Yeah, I heard that kids are, are you in Medina Valley, Renee? I heard that kids around San Antonio are going back to school in the building, but not here in San Antonio. I know, I didn't mean to start, I didn't mean to start any crazy drama, I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> it's, a, it's a horrible topic right now, because some of us are desperate for our kids to go back, and some of us are like, heck no, I don't want my kids in the school. And teachers, the same thing. And and the, the sad part is that there is no really good solution, there's not one way or the other is not good. So anyways, back to school. Hmm. You know what would make a really good back to school 
gift this year? Hand sanitizer <laughs> and masks. Oh my gosh, so sad. Um, all right, I'm gonna think about that, Lisa. I'm glad you suggested that. All right, why can't I get all this to fit on here? I don't have the magnetic platform to this yet. It's not available yet. It will be available. The machine, I didn't even tell you guys the machine, hello, is not available until September for customers. Um, I have it because demonstrators got to pre-order it this month. Um, oh, what am I doing? Why is this not cutting right? Oh man, I got those set up and I forgot to put the other plate on there. Okay, everybody hold your breath. Let's see if we can do that. There's this little, this little plate right here, number two, you guys. I'm gonna, it's gonna take me a while to get used to this. Okay, you got, oh, I just bumped everything. You gotta put that on top of number one. One and two, I'm gonna forget to do that a lot. And then your clear plate. All right, here we go again. I was thinking about school and masks and hand sanitizer. I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, this machine will be available to customers beginning in September. If you are dying, like my Big Shot seriously was on its last leg. If you need a new die cut machine and you want this right now, you can get it by buying the starter kit. It is available in the starter kit in August. Or you can wait till September. The plates, look at that fence. How adorable is that? It's embossed. Oh, I didn't zoom out. I didn't zoom out. Let me zoom out. There we go. Sorry. Sorry. Um, I just think that is so cute. And I'm going to, how cute is that going to be? Just like with a little Halloween scene. I just think it's so cute. Little fence. Um, what was I saying? The magnetic platform. I'm, I think. Mm, no, I'm not even going to tell you what I think because I don't know. I can't remember. It's not available right now. It will be available soon. <laughs> That's all I'm going to commit to, soon. All right, look at that little wheel. Isn't that cute? It looks like a Trivial Pursuit game piece. Remember that? Ooh, I could use that with that game stamp set. Hmm. All right. Gosh, Trivial Pursuit. It's been a long time since I played that. All right, I think we're ready to put all of this together. Remember we did this watercolor wash in Balmy Blue. Um, Nina, good question. What's the difference between the two wagons in the die set? So this one would be to cut your stamped image out. And this one would be if you didn't want to stamp it and you cut it. So it would be like the fence. See how it has those ridges because it embosses. So you could just cut that out of whatever, whatever color you wanted. Um, and it would just be like solid with the embossed piece, which is really nice too. I uh, was just noticing that, honestly. Um, I hadn't, you know, it's funny how things jump out to you and you don't see the other pieces until later. But that one, I wanted to stamp that, that wagon. But anyway, that's what that is. Good question. Okay. Let's stamp the sentiment in soft suede. Yeah, Lisa, it is very portable, and it's 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 a good weight. That one I told you I bought was so darn heavy, I couldn't even move it from one counter to the other, and I ugh, did not like it. This one is perfect. All right, so this sentiment is from this Autumn Goodness stamp set, and it says, Golden Leaves, Chilly Air, Autumn Beauty Everywhere. It's a little poem. Sounds like something in we would have done in kindergarten when I was teaching kindergarten. All right, so I'm gonna use, you know what, I'm gonna use my Stampin' Seal. Um, and I'm just gonna put this down flat, this piece of watercolor paper. It's five and a fourth by four inches, that's the size. And I've just put it on a card base, half of a piece of um, soft suede cardstock. And this plaid paper is this gorgeous plaid tidings that I can't stop seeing the praises of. I've used it several times in the last few weeks. Um, I love this pattern. I'm almost getting to where I'm hoarding this. I don't want to cut into it because like I like that pattern, but I loved this pattern. So I didn't want to use that last week on last week's project. 
because I really wanted to save that for Halloween and fall. All right, so now let's do the fence with some mini glue dots. Um, Catherine, that's what I thought too, but as I was getting ready to say that, I was worried that I was gonna misquote, so I didn't say it. Catherine says she thinks the magnetic platform will be available in September. And I was thinking that, but then I, mm, I didn't want to give you guys wrong information. So I'm not 100% 100% sure. Marianne says she wasn't going to get the stamps at Marianne. It's beautiful. And if you like to color with your blends, I think this is a really good set for that. All right, so there's the little fence. See how we did the little blue in the background? And then um, now let's get a glue dot and put on our wagon wheel or our Trivial Pursuit piece, Trivial Pursuit um, game piece. I'm gonna use just a glue dot right there behind that, pick that up like that, okay? Now we can use big dimensionals on this. Yeah, um, Danielle says she loves that it embosses me too. I think that's really neat for these dies, really smart, especially that fence. All right, so we're gonna put this right here. Okay, now we're gonna get our die cut piece, which I can see did not stay exactly where it was supposed to stay when I die cut it, but we're gonna ignore it and pretend like it didn't happen. Because when you put it up against that white background, you can't tell that there's too much white on that side. <laughs> see, how cute, oh my gosh, I love it. All right, one more thing, a bow. This is new ribbon called, um, em just embroidered ribbon, and it's kind of like muslin almost. Um, I don't even wanna say linen, it's very, very light. And I have cut it down the middle to make it skinny because I felt like it was a little bit too bulky for this card. And I am using, I used the first piece on the first video I made this morning, and now I'm gonna use the second piece. I like to do this to my ribbons. Not only does it, um, reduce bulk on your card, but it also kind of frays and gets kind of, you know, like rustic, which I think is really good for this project. This looks like maybe some burlap or something you would use in your fall decorations. All right, another glue dot, because doesn't every wheelbarrow need a bow on its handle? I think so, for sure. All right, right there. And Get all the fringe off. There we have it. Super cute. Golden leaves, chilly air, autumn beauty everywhere. And now I have three of them. Ta-da! I hope you guys like this. I really, really love this stamp set. I really, really like it. And I like the dies that they that they designed to go with it. I think it's very cleverly designed. All right, project number two is done. We've got one more, and this time. We're moving on to Christmas. Yep, I said it, Christmas in August. Now, I am not one to normally do Christmas before about late September, but you know, we have new stuff. I wanna play with new stuff. All right, so here we go. This is a little treat pocket. These are just your snack size Hershey's, and these have been sitting on my desk all week and it has taken everything in me not to eat them because I love these, <laughs> but that's all I have. I don't have any more, so I knew that I needed it for this. Um, hopefully they survive the weekend here at my <laughs> house. Now I'm using two different things here. These are called the Celebration Label Dies, and I'm gonna show you where these are. These are towards the back as well. Right here. And, um, these are, I, I think I pointed this out, kind of like um, like a bag topper for, you know, a cello bag. It reminds me very much of the top note die if you have been a Stampin' Up! person for a long time. Um, and they've used them for cards and stuff. It's really cute. So that's what I used. I'm using it for not necessarily its traditional, um, what it was designed to be used, but you can make a tree pocket. Now I have another project for this. Um, that you'll see later um, that turn, makes a little box. 
Okay, we're also using the Peace and Joy bundle. I love these scripty fonts and I love the dies. They layer, you have three layers, real skinny, um, a layer that cuts out the words and then like a cloud layer. So we're gonna just do the skinny and then the first outline of the stamp letters. Okay, okay, let's start by making the pockets. All right, I'm gonna use Real Red, the designer series paper. Let's see if, if I can remember the names. Heartwarming Hugs. Is that right? Is that right? I think I'm starting to get these names down. And Real Red, I'm going to use the largest label, celebration label die. And I'm just going to cut that out. We're going to add a score line to this to make it a pocket and it's not going to be folded in half because we want the back to be to stand up higher than the front all right now for that dsp on the front i'm going to use the second largest okay so we use the largest on the cardstock now we're going to use the second largest on this super adorable paper this is my favorite pattern in this whole pack and i <laughs> can't stop using it um this what i've done I cut, a, I cut my DSP small. Now, if you're gonna make a bunch of these, you could go ahead and cut the full piece out, but I didn't wanna waste paper because I'm just gonna make one. So I just cut my paper um, big enough for half of the label and I'm putting it, it above the little notches there, okay? So it's above and it's just gonna cut out half of that label. I like the way it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> the new machine. I don't know, goofy, but I like it. All right, let's move this guy out of the way for a few minutes. And let's bring this over here. Joy, top note die was everyone's favorite, wasn't it? I mean, it was like the best die back then. That was a long time ago. I used that die more than probably anything ever. All right, so take your label and put it on your Simply Scored or your Stamp and Trimmer, and you're, instead of scoring it right here in half, which would be three, you're gonna score it at two and three-fourths, okay? And the reason that we're doing that, like I said, is so that it folds up like that. So this one is smaller, that one's bigger. All right, now let's put our adhesive, our stamp and seal. Get that right there. It almost looks like a little bed, right? Like that's the back, the headboard, and that's the footboard. Hmm, that's cute. Okay, now we're gonna stamp the words. I decided to cut out the skinny letters and put them on top of the stamp letters. So the stamp letters create kind of a small cloud and then the white outline create even a bigger cloud. I tried the third cloud word, and it was just a little bit too big for this project. See that? So you could do a third layer. I don't know, now it looks cute. Maybe I should have done it. Very cute. Okay, so let's stamp the bright in garden green. On whisper white. Okay, and then we're going to put this, this die would be pretty difficult to um, see how skinny it is. I mean, you would have to be really good with your fine tip glue pen, but now that we've got these adhesive sheets, you guys know that I am all over these adhesive sheets. So I've cut a piece about the size of my cardstock and I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the adhesive sheets on here, leaving a little bit of a space, whoops, whoops, a little bit of a space there. That's gonna help me peel that off once I'm done cutting. All right, bring this guy back over. And so again, leaving um, just that one and two plate on there when you use your little skinny dies your, your um, what we used to call framelits. Okay, oh, did, I, did I pull that one off? No, I didn't, here it is. These wafer dies. 
honestly, I haven't used it for anything other than, well, I cut a bunch of labels out yesterday, a bunch um, for that. I told you that kit, that class or that convention, creative convention for my downline. And then I used it for the spider emb embossing. And that's been about it. So I'm going to have to play with it some more. Look at that. I love how that looks. Very nice. All right. Now let's get the bright. Move this guy over. And we're going to take this. Let's get all the little doodads out. <laughs> Danielle, you still use it? Yeah, it's great. It's a great, that top note is great. So see how I left that? little space there in the adhesive that's just going to make it so much easier to peel off instead of trying to find the end or get the edge on the end to come off all right now it's very delicate very delicate put it down one letter at a time lining it up inside those letters Now, I did not pull off the little dot for the eye because it's very tiny, and I think we can do without it since we have the stamped dot. But you can do it if you want. If you get your tweezers and your magnifying glass, <laughs> it's very tiny. And I'm just, that's too, that's too, too, too tiny for me. Now, if it didn't have it stamped, of course I would have to do it. But because it's stamped, I don't think we need it. All right, bright. Now let's stamp the Mary and, so it will, it will say Mary and bright. Okay, all right. Elaine, you didn't think you wanted this set? I love this. I wish we had more words. Like I hope that this is the start of Lots of stamp sets with these scripty words and the scripty word dies with the little cloud, the little outlines, because I really like them. All right, so these are just really easy to cut out because they're just rectangles. No fussy cutting. All right, now let's layer it up. Now I'm gonna have to take this candy out and put it over here <laughs> because I don't have any more candy. Um, I'm gonna use my stapler to staple this, okay? To keep it closed. You could just use the ribbon, but I felt like it was a little too, you know, it wasn't secure enough. All right, I'm gonna take this new ribbon. This is called the Real Red Sheer Ribbon. And I'm gonna tie that around, kind of covering those staples, all right? And, well, let's see. You know what, I'm wasting too much ribbon. I gotta pull that down. I cannot cut off that much and throw it away. Let's shorten it up. There we go, that'll be better. All right. Oh, it's still really long, but I'm not gonna do it again. Okay, there we go. Now pull it tight and then shorten it up. If you hold that center, you can pull those little legs there, those little um, ends, and even it up. We'll cut that at an angle, like that. And now, let's see, I'm gonna move that bow over to the left a little bit, like that. Now let's get some more mini dimensionals. I'm almost out. And we actually could use large dimensionals on this, I think. Renee, I did see your order. Thank you, by the way. You're gonna have to get those labels. They're good. I can just see lots of uses for those labels. Um, even if you, you know, to use a cello bag, put your candy in there and make a little topper. Um, when you don't wanna, you know, do something super complicated, it's just gonna make it super cute, even though it's not super complicated. Now, these two little words are too narrow for a mini dimensional. So, I'm gonna just cut the ends here really make some really thin adhesive strips. All right, I need my tweezers. I've gotta get some tweezers for in here. Mary 
and that ribbon does it look thicker than you thought it is three-eighths of an inch so almost half an inch it's a I, I'm I like it it's a pretty good width and there you go Mary and bright so cute and I wish I had six more Hershey's to show you when those just be great little favors and we can make them back to school favors by changing the colors and changing the stamp set right all right I'm glad you said that Lisa I forgot back to school I forgot and lots of you are going back to school I saw so maybe we do need back to school treats huh I just I was gonna tell you guys something funny that my daughter said Last, yesterday when they were asking about new backpacks, we were looking online and, and I, I had a coupon for whatever the website my daughter wanted. And I said, well, what about a lunchbox? And she said, I don't need a lunchbox. I'll just make a sandwich and take it back to my room. <laughs> and I was like, oh gosh, okay. Because she's thinking, you know, she's not going to be at school either. So then I don't know why we need to buy a backpack. But anyways... All right, you guys, here's what we made today. It's just a sampling of the beautiful new holiday catalog. If you need a catalog, you don't have one, please let me know. I will send it to you for free. I don't want you to have to pay for it. Um, I will send it to you for free. Um, just shoot me an email or a message with your address and I will send it to you. And don't forget your orders. If you put them in by Monday at midnight using that host code, I'm going to send you the make and takes for all three of those projects. Okay, you guys, thank you so much. You've been great today. Um, oh, my electricity just went out. Oh my goodness. Am I still live? I bet my internet went out. Hmm, I can't tell. Oh, I think maybe I'm still live. You guys, my electricity went out weird. That's never happened on a Facebook Live before. How weird. But good thing I'm using my phone. It hooked back up to my phone internet. Huh, it's not even raining. How odd. Okay, anyways, you guys, have a great weekend. I will see you next week. Stay tuned. I don't know what we're gonna do. Stay tuned. I'll see you next Friday, you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.